So we're coming back to this one, the big alleyway slash city diorama. I uh, showed this one uh, a while back on my channel, but uh, you know I've come a little way since then. I added this whole side building section. I kind of wanted to make it look like maybe an abandoned um, like warehouse type building. Got the bars in the window and everything, some pipes, a little electrical box there, and uh, you know just this side wall here. It's all magnetized together so it's pretty stable. I mean the inside is ugly but you don't see that anyway. Uh, let's see what else did I do with this. I added the sewer lid. Um, this is just you know carved out of uh, that's a thin piece of foam and then an even thinner piece of foam on top that I was able to like etch in the design to it. Uh, I have B and F written on there so that you can tell the back and the front because you can see that it's not a perfect circle so if you try to do it like backwards it might not fit in the hole properly. Haha. <laughs> but you got it right there perfect flush and as I showed before the uh, fire escape can be removed and replaced by a security camera so that you can have it opened up and you can stick a whole pile of figures in there if you want so you got options with this one I think it's pretty good the one thing down here in this corner there's that little chunk that's like kind of like broken it's not broken but it's like you can see that it's cracked and like the pink is in there so I'm gonna have to like put a wash in there or something I don't know if I'd like stepped on it or what the hell happened over here but that's ugly so I want to fix that but um other than that I mean I'd say it's a wrap I'm definitely gonna sell this one off I'm not sure how much money I'm gonna ask for or who's gonna buy it or any of that stuff but hey this has been a fun build and now I realize like well now that I built it what am I gonna do with it I don't really have space to like set it up so I guess there's one thing after the other right so I don't know. See what happens. Also, recently opened up that face-off two-pack I had of uh, Kingpin and Daredevil. It's the unmasked Daredevil. Uh, it's a good figure. They're both actually good figures. Kingpin I actually like more. Um, he's got some limited articulation, like his wrists don't swivel like this, and um, a couple other things. Plus, he's such a giant figure that it's like hard to get like a good range of motion. But I do like the dark suit. Um, at first, I was kind of like wishing I had the white suit and purple pants version. But then the Netflix Daredevil show came out and he wore a lot of darker clothes in that. And I was like, you know what? That kind of makes me respect this figure just a little bit more. And then Daredevil himself is pretty good. I have the um, Hasbro version that I got from a friend a while back. And I prefer that version because this one kind of has those awkward like toy biz shoulders that kind of stick out. And, you know, just kind of a few little things about the body that are unusual. But he does have more articulation. I like the billy club on this one more because it's got the uh, like the nunchuck rope in the middle of it and I like the Matt Murdock head um a lot better than that Toy Biz one that's or um, I'm sorry a lot better than the Hasbro one that's just a repaint of the Hawkeye figure's head um this one to me actually I originally got it because I wanted to use this head for Scott Summers but then I just never got around to doing that but yeah my thing with this though like if I'm thinking about it practically he's got the mask on like he just pulled it back right so he just basically pulled this off of his head so I'm supposed to believe he was wearing his sunglasses the whole time underneath his Daredevil costume. I mean, I don't know. Whatever. It's still a cool figure, though. I also picked up the Shawn Michaels, the Toys R Us one. Um, first thing I did was switch the head because I hate that other head. Um, this is the one from the Elite 19, I think, with the black um, attire. Now, it might be tough to see, but what I did was I took a mechanical pencil and I went and drew a beard on him, basically. It just, you know, lightly, like kind of like shaded it in um it's pretty light so you might not even be able to see it but in person it does make the head look a little bit more unique it's not just like the same head as the other elite figure has so i don't know just something kind of to set it apart from uh the other Shawn michaels heads that i have on these other figures but i dig it i like the attire um i do wish they had had the elbow or the sorry the knee pads but i mean it's not a huge deal breaker for me i like it and he's already wearing the JWF Intercontinental Championship, which is basically just a little sticker that I drew and slapped on the title. Yeah, we're really high tech here in Apartment 9. Uh, if any of you are wondering, moving really sucks ass. Everything's just in piles all over the place. Still packing. I started packing over here, took down the whole animation area, took a few things down off the walls. Still got to worry about all this, though. And you can see I... Got some of this stuff boxed up already. This is from whatever was up in the top of the closet. 
Got to figure out what I'm going to do with all those dioramas. Got rid of a bunch of clothes. It's just such a pain, man. Got a lot to deal with. Got rid of one of the couches out here, too. Took that right downstairs and threw it in the trash. Like, I'm not carrying too much of this stuff with me, if I can help it. But, yeah, a lot of stuff to go through. In brighter news, this bad boy will not be coming with me on the move. Matter of fact, I'm going to send this out today. My dude, Burnout Inc., decided to go ahead and purchase this bad boy. He showed interest in it um, pretty much since I first said I was probably going to sell it. So he had me keep him updated as to what I was going to be doing, whether I decided to sell or not. And he paid me last night. I'm going to box this up, send it out today. I really like this diorama, and I hope he does too. Um, in the future, I may try and do something similar to this. Obviously not exactly like it, because it's not fun for me to try and replicate something that I've already made. And plus, if I were to do that, that would kind of take away the uh, individuality of this diorama. Like, I don't know, it just wouldn't seem as unique. So I'm not going to make the exact same thing over again. But I would like to apply these kind of, like this fire escape concept and some of this other stuff to uh, a future diorama that I build. But that's not going to be for quite a while off, because you can see i still got a lot to deal with. Bit of an update here. Yeah. Take you back to the lab. Got some stuff on the table over there. I don't want to get too much into that, because I want to surprise people, but... Got a bit of an X-Men display here going. Still don't have my new wave of X-Men figures yet, the uh, Juggernaut series, but the beauty is, even once I get that series, I don't think I'll have to change anything about this display because I got a pretty good variety of characters from various times in the X-Men's history. So, even though there will be some of the same characters in that wave, like Deadpool, Wolverine, um, Kitty Pride, I won't have to change them around because it's pretty specific. Like this Deadpool, he's gray, kind of contrast pretty well against all the red characters right there so I don't want to do overkill with the red you know what I'm saying that Kitty Pride is the Astonishing X-Men version and so is the Colossus and so is the Lockheed for those keeping track I don't know just good stuff I got the Brotherhood back there or some of them Pyro and Avalanche Scarlet Witch Magneto a Sinister Sabretooth Apocalypse Dead Phoenix that kind of classic comic book pose that everybody's drawn at some point or another Got Gambit with a little cigarette that I made out of paper. It was the 90s, ladies and gentlemen. To be cool, you had to smoke. Nah, I'm just kidding. Don't do that today. And if you do, don't tell anybody that I told you to do it, because I will deny it. But, uh, yeah. Good stuff. Got the Dragon Ball Z stuff up here. Set up pretty well. I'm trying to think of, uh, if I showed much of this. I got my little cell games set up. Obviously not huge, just, just meant to be a little display. And then just some, like, rocks and stuff. Uh, got that Vegeta. The Super Saiyan Blue, whatever they're calling it now. The box says Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Vegeta, but I think they've abbreviated it since then. It's a pretty good figure, though. I like it. I also got Nappa back there. That's a Ben Presto figure. It's, well, not really a figure. It's like a little PVC, like, plastic statue, I guess. But uh, he scales in pretty well with the SH Figure Arts line. Like, because he's so hunched over, like... He's about the same size as Vegeta, but obviously, like, you could tell if I was able to stand him up and put him into, a, like, a regular pose, he would be about the right size to hang with Vegeta. So, I got him. He was, like, on clearance at Barnes & Noble for, like, 17 bucks. So, I went for it. But, yeah, the rest of the collection is looking pretty good. So I got some of the wrestling stuff set up in this room. Just uh, another shelf, as you can see. Some boxes and stuff right there. But, uh, kind of got more of an old-school theme with the wrestling stuff. And it kind of tapers into, uh, like, early 2000s stuff over here. It's um not that I don't want to display guys like Cena and Rollins and all them, but I just ran out of room. So, I don't know. I've been getting too many of these things, I guess. But, uh, yeah, kind of a good mix between, like, the really old school, like, Hogan era stuff and early WCW. Not that early, but, like, I guess early 90s WCW. And then mixed all the way up until about the end of the Attitude Era, beginning of Ruthless Aggression, that kind of thing. Um, the display, which you probably can't see very well, but it's two pieces of foam, like two layers. The bottom one is just black, and then the one above it is white. Now, what you'll also see, if I can, if you can see between Jericho and Raven there, there's um, 
dowels that I painted black and then I hot glued red, white, and blue ropes, which are just also like really thin dowels to the other side. So that way, like if this was a little less congested, you'd be able to see that it looks like it's a, like a wrestling diorama, basically. Not really a diorama, just a little display. But I don't know, pretty cool. Oh, and the Kurt Angle there is that custom figure I showed a while back. Still work in progress. It needs a little bit of touch up, but I don't know. I'm digging it. And then up above, we got the Hot Toys. Still only got the two, but I'm really enjoying how they, uh, how I'm finally able to display them on a more permanent basis. And then over here, we got the Sideshow Star Wars stuff. I've had these for a long time, and uh, I still like them. Obviously, they uh, maybe haven't aged quite as well as like some of the Hot Toys stuff, but they still display nicely. They're good figures. This is uh, Obi-Wan from Episode 3, and... Um, Darth Vader from Episode 3. I say Darth Vader because he's the Sith Lord version. I think the Sideshow exclusive. So if you can see, he's got like the Sith Lord eyes. And he's got the um, the Mustafar Lava Planet base. So uh, well, you can see the box right here. It's the uh, Lords of the Sith version. I also have Ben Kenobi from the original Star Wars. And I just don't have enough room to display him. So I want to figure something like that out. And the Black and White Turtles. Awesome set. Really still happy to have that. Um, you'll be paying out the ass if you want to get this set now, but, uh, I got it. I want to say it was like 65 bucks on Amazon and these have all been opened and I've posed them all around and messed with them. And, uh, I don't know. I just kept the box cause I really like the way they look, but yeah. So that's this display in this room and then just various other stuff going on over here. Just loose figures and all types of props and stuff that I'll use for my animations and whatnot. Yeah. It's coming together though. It's a good place. I dig it. For those wondering about the wrestling display, there's still mad stuff I don't have displayed. Um, either different versions of the wrestlers, like because I only put one of each one up, or just, you know, people that I just haven't found the room to display, I guess. But, I don't know, eventually I might get more of these guys out or just switch them up with the ones that are up there. Also, behind me here, we just got mad dioramas still in boxes. Bunch of other stuff that's I gotta go through, like uh, oh, some NECA figures. There's the Batmobile there. A couple of WWE things. Just uh, you know, still a work in progress, I guess. That's crispy. <laughs>